Hi friends, in this tutorial I want to find a unit hydrograph from flood wave. The exercise asks us to find a unit hydrograph and the area of water catchment from the surface runoff and measured flood wave. We have 13.52 mm precipitation and 2 mm per hour infiltration. The investigation period is 11 hour and we have measured discharge. I use uh, Excel to solve the that's the flood wave hydrograph. Okay. First, I have to write time. Time in hour. Okay. It starts from 0 to 11. And we have also measured discharge. Meter cube per second. We have seconds. Seconds. You can find, you can uh, bring uh, this data from the hydrograph. You see, that is the data we plotted. Okay, 12, 18, 20, 17, 11, 6, Yes. Subsurface discharge. We see, we see that subsurface discharge is uh, six throughout the investigated period. Okay. Subbase flow or subsurface charge unit meter cube per second. Just write six. Okay, now from subsurface and measured discharge, we can easily find runoff or flood wave per second. Just this one minus subsurface. Yes, that's the runoff discharge. We can also find runoff volume. Runoff volume meter cube per second per hour. Okay, that is the runoff we plotted. Okay, if you want to find the runoff volume, you just find the uh, area for the trapezoidalis. The first one and the last one is triangle, and the intermediate one is a trapezoidus. We use trapezoidal, just uh, this side plus this side, divide by two, multiply the interval. You can find the area. It's an easy process. Okay. Now, run of volume equal to here zero, this one equal to. this one plus this one divide by two at the interval is one hour so it doesn't make any difference if you multiply one hour or not yes okay 39 13 to 12.5 and the unit is a uh, meter cube per second multiply hour we can uh, simplify more to uh, meter cube you just write run off volume meter cube how you just multiply uh, one hour equal to 300 uh, 3600 seconds so just multiply run of volume by 3600 second directly we the hour and second cancel each other yes that is the volume by meter cubic if we sum 
uh, finds the summation, we have 172,800 meter cube. Okay. Let's find the catchment. As we see in the example, we have 13.2 precipitation and 2 millimeter runoff, 2 millimeter, sorry, infiltration. So here you can write precipitation equal to 13.2 million infiltration is 2 million so effective precipitation is this one minus this one it equal 11.2 millimeter that is the uh, effective precipitation that cause the uh, uh, flood wave now we have the volume and we have also height of precipit uh, precipitation just divide volume by height of precipitation you can find the watershed area Effective precipitation equal to 11.52 divided by 1000. Meter. Okay. Area. Now we have volume and we have height. Just divide volume by height of precipitation you can find the area for uh, watershed or catchment it equal 15 million meter square and also equal to 15 kilometer square that is area for a watershed or catchment still we didn't solve the exercise because uh, exercise asked us to find unit hydrograph unit hydrograph show us how the flood wave look like for one millimeter effective precipitation that's why we say unit hydrograph that is a hydrograph for 11.52 millimeter effective precipitation let us see unit hydro uh, flood wave for one millimeter effective precipitation okay unit hydrograph okay it equal run of discharge divide by effective precipitation and fix it right yes here i want to Uh, I want to write hydrograph here, time in hour. And always unit hydrograph, the first one zero and it equal this one. Okay, unit hydrograph. The first one zero for unit hydrograph. I cancel, remove the zero. Okay. Yes. No, I don't need this one. That is 
ازاي نوت هيدروجراف ليتس بلوت يس ان تايتل تايم اور ديشارج متر كيوب ان تايتل يونيت هيدروغراف ذات از ذا فلات ويف فور 1 ملم افكتيف بريسيبيتيشن اي هوب ات كان بي هيلبفول هاف ا نايس تايم